Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand the computational requirement for DFT and FFT by using two examples. Today, by the end of this lesson, you will clearly understand why fast Fourier transform, which is FFT, is so powerful and widely used in digital signal processing. Let us consider a first example where we need to calculate the number of complex multiplications complex addition, real multiplication, real addition and trigonometric functions required for computation of DFT for n is equal to 64 using direct method. So here first we will understand number of steps required for complex multiplication and addition for 64 bit DFT. In the previous video we have already understood the different formulas for complex multiplication complex addition, real multiplication and real additions and also we understood the formula for trigonometric functions. First let us calculate the complex multiplication. For a n point DFT, the complex multiplication can be given by the formula n square. Since n is equal to 64 which is given in this problem, we can say the complex multiplication will be 64 square. So, we can say the number of complex multiplication required is 4096. Now, let us find the complex addition. The complex addition for n point DFT is given as n into n minus 1. Since n is equal to 64, we can say the complex addition is 64 into 64 minus 1. So, the number of complex addition will be 4032. Now, let us find the real multiplication which can be given as 4n square. Since n is equal to 64, we can say 4 into 64 square. So, from this we will get 16384. So, 16384 real multiplications are needed for 64 bit DFT. Now, to find real addition, we can use the formula 4n square minus 2n. Since n is equal to 64, we can write 4 into 64 square minus 2 into 64. So, we will get 16,256. So, the number of real addition needed is 16,256. Now, to find the trigonometric function, we can use the formula 2n square. Since n is equal to 64, we can write this as 2 into 64 square. So, we will get 8192. So, the number of trigonometric functions needed for 64 bit DFT is 8192. So, from this problem, we understood that as the number of bit increases, the number of complex computations will also increase. That is why the best way is to go for fast Fourier transform that will reduce the number of computations that are needed to calculate the DFT. Now, let us take second problem where we will find the speed improvement factor in calculating 64 bit DFT of the given sequence using direct computation as well as fast Fourier transform algorithm. And also, we need to mention the number of real resistors that are required. So, here we are comparing the direct computation with fast Fourier algorithm and we will understand why fast Fourier algorithm is very much useful in reducing the computations that are required while calculating the DFT. In the previous problem for direct computation, we have already calculated complex multiplication and complex addition for 64 bit DFT. So, in direct computation, we will get 4096 complex multiplications and 4032 complex addition. Now, let us find complex multiplication and complex addition for fast Fourier algorithm. 
In fast Fourier algorithm, the complex multiplication can be given as n by 2 log to the base 2 n. If we substitute n is equal to 64, we can find 64 by 2 log to the base 2 64. If we calculate this value, we will get 192. So, 192 complex multiplications are required if we use fast Fourier algorithm to find the 64-bit DFT. To find complex addition, we can use the formula n log to the base 2 n. So, if we substitute n is equal to 64, we will get 64 log to the base 2 n. So, if we calculate, we will get 384. So, 384 complex addition is needed for fast Fourier transform for FFT algorithm to calculate 64-bit DFT. Here you can observe the number of steps required for complex computations in both direct method as well as fast Fourier algorithm. So, the number of computations has gradually reduced that gives an advantage for fast Fourier transformation to be used in computation of DFT. Now, let us find the speed improvement factor if we use FFT over direct computation. So, speed improvement factor can be given as n square divided by n by 2 log to the base 2 n. So, if we substitute n is equal to 64, in the numerator we will get 4096 and in the denominator we will get 192. So, we will get the speed improvement factor as 21.33. So, this speed improvement factor specifies that the direct computation is 21.33 times slower than fast Fourier algorithm, which gives an advantage for FFT to be used in digital signal processing. Now, let us find the real resistors required. The real resistors required for real part, for imaginary part and for twiddle factor is n, so which is equal to 64. Therefore, Total number of resistors required will be equal to 3n. So, n is equal to 64. We will get 3 into 64 which is 192. So, here the real resistors that are required for FFT to store real part, imaginary part and to store twiddle factor is 64. So, the total number of resistors required for computing 64 bit DFT is 192. So, from these examples, we understood that the direct DFT method requires thousands of multiplications, additions and trigonometric equations. But the fast Fourier transform requires drastically reduced computations, making it much faster and more efficient. That is why FFT is backbone of modern signal processing applications like image processing, audio compression and communication systems. This is about problems on DFT versus fast Fourier transform. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.